I cannot believe my eyes. Look at this. This is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The entire town is a UNESCO site because it's so beautiful, so ancient, so historical. And in the outskirts of the city, there's some incredible things. As you can see, what's coming up is just pure slices of heaven. I'm really excited for us to explore Luampabang because it's easily one of my favorite places, not just in Laos, but maybe in Southeast Asia. As you'll see, this place is wonderful. If you've never heard of it, you'll love this. And if you're coming here soon, I hope this video will be really useful so you can get your most out of your experience. So let's pick things up at five o'clock in the morning because that's what time life starts in Luampabang and you don't want to miss it. morning and it is a beautiful beautiful morning bright and early because we're going to be witnessing the alms giving here in Loang Prabang now we've seen this before when we stayed at the river the monks in the morning they come down and in return for blessings they accept food and other little bits and bobs that they might need throughout the day now because Luang Prabang is the spiritual home of Lao and home to so many important temples and home to so many novice and monks it's become quite the thing it's become quite the morning ritual and you know back in the day I'm sure it was just the locals supporting the monks and uh, but today it's many 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 other people tourists from all over the world okay you, you don't have to be Buddhist to take part if you want to You get all of the usual sights and smells, the ginger, the chili, the mint, and all of the beautiful, colorful fruit, fruits and vegetables. But the stuff here I've never seen before, like they've got the giant grubs, I think from wasps, maybe hornets. And then they also have game, like birds with their feathers on and stuff. But I haven't seen that before. Quite interesting. The little birds as well. They must eat them. <laughs> yeah, she's just picking them out of their little hexagon little compartments and then just nibbling on them. Wasp lava. Yummy. Okay then, so that was the alms and they're already hard at work brushing away and getting the temple grounds ready for tourists. So yeah, quite a nice experience. Um, but the best thing, really, is if you do witness the arms, there is an incredible waterfall in this city. About 20 minutes outside, actually. And it opens at 8. So since we're up early, why don't we try and be one of the first few people there?
Okay, you know when you can tell something's gonna be epic already, right? So, just arrived and I paid 25,000 kip, so very cheap to enter. And actually at the base of the waterfall, there's a rescue bear sanctuary. Hello. You're beautiful, aren't you? There's three bears. One, two. Wow. Nice warm coat. Because it's so, so early, and the sun's just coming through the canopy right now, let's quickly get our way up to the top before the crowds come, because I think there's nobody here. I think I was the first person to get inside the waterfall at eight o'clock when it opens. So let's quickly, let's quickly get to the waterfall. Oh my God, I can see it. Oh my God. Oh my God, I feel sick. I feel sick. That is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Okay, let's take a closer look. recommend you come early you know I just had about 10 minutes on that bridge completely alone a couple of Thai people have turned up now it's 8 30 it opened half an hour ago and as soon as that morning mist rose and evaporated away over the mountains it's revealed a glorious blue sky and the turquoise waters are just so vibrant and I just flew the drone because I thought that the waterfall, you know, was this. And I kept going and I kept going and I kept going and I couldn't believe how far and high this waterfall actually goes. But we can't see further than past about 100 meters up. It's almost, it's, the more I look at it, the more I can't believe it's real. It's so perfect in every way from the tears to the waterfall to the jungle and the way the light is coming through. This is the most beautiful waterfall I've ever seen with my own eyes, by far. <laughs> okay, um, excuse my white bits. <laughs> it's cold, it's very cold. Oh Lord, have mercy on my soul. Oh, it's coming up to my balls. Oh. It's freezing. I can guarantee you it's freezing cold. Wow, look at this. <laughs> wow, what a place. You 1,000% have to come here, 1,000%, and come early. This will be great fun though, any time of the day. But there's something added, isn't there, if it's just you. <laughs> Can you believe this is real? This isn't a water park, this is real life.
I came back up to see the difference between this morning but uh, now the sun's really coming through the trees it looks even nicer but there's obviously quite a few people here now should have swam here look at this one holy moly so beautifully clean I can see a little fish oh my god this is yeah if heaven was on earth this would be it for sure I cannot believe my eyes. Look at this. We're the only people here and this is paradise. This is literally heaven on earth. I'm completely speechless. We've made it back to Luang Prabang town. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. It's amazing what you can get done if you get up early for the alms. And I'm hungry, very hungry. Now there's loads of places to eat alongside the Mekong. This place I really like, it's called T56. It's just a little veranda with some nice tables. They've got a really nice Lao cuisine menu. And they've got other dishes as well. I've ordered some ceviche and a strawberry smoothie or something. And it's great, you just get to sit here and watch the world go by and watch the Mekong just gently flow down past you and it's a beautiful day now. So we'll recharge a little bit and then I've got a really exciting thing at lunchtime in one of the temples where we're gonna learn a little bit about the monk lifestyle from a past monk. Luang Prabang is littered with some absolutely stunning temples. This is just one of them. And I'm going to be meeting a ex-monk. Not in this temple, just next door pretty much. And uh, I'm going to learn a lot about the lifestyle of a monk. And learn a little bit more of the history of Buddhism in general. Which is great because, you know, I've been in Thailand for a year and a half. and. You know, I go to hundreds of temples and I never really get to ask questions and find out information because it's all in Thai normally. But here in Laos, the ex-monk who speaks very good English is going to be able to answer all of my stupid questions. <laughs> so this company is called Orange Robe Tours and you can find them really easily and I'll tell you more about how to book it in a second. But I just want to say that this is one of the nicest things I've ever done and so useful 
And Tay, the guide, he, he used to be a monk for over nine years when he was growing up, and he speaks fantastic English. And I bombarded him with questions about Buddhism and temple structure and how they're built and what things mean and correct etiquette and just general questions about the life of a monk and a novice growing up. And honestly, no subject is taboo. We were able to ask so many different questions. It was an hour and a bit of just so many oh moments, you know? And my favorite part was going into the temple for sure and getting a little bit more detailed information about what each individual thing that you regularly see within temples signify. That was really fascinating stuff. I'm really glad I did that. And you can book it via Instagram or um, their website. I'll leave the information below. Tay, the guide, he was a monk for eight years. And it was so interesting to ask him so many questions. And I asked so many silly questions, bless it. Things that have always been on my mind that I never really had an answer for and Google couldn't tell me, he was able to tell me. And uh, it was a really, really nice experience. And as soon as that tour finished, he was going to do a second tour doing a guided meditation. So they have two types of tours. And after the temple tour, that he was doing a guided meditation. Now, meditation is not really for me. But if you do want to learn about Buddhism, about temples, about monk life, or if you do want to do a guided meditation, then check out Orange Robe Tours. They're on Instagram and the information I'll put in the description if you do want to book it. They're on TripAdvisor. And um, yeah, Tay's actually taking two weeks off. So he's uh, getting married. <laughs> That's why he's not a monk anymore. But yeah, fantastic experience. Really good. And after the tour, because I was in the middle of the city, I decided to nip up the stairs to the viewpoint. There is a lookout and a temple on the little hill in the middle of the Wam Prabang. Don't be off put by the steps. It's really only a 10 minute walk. And um, yeah, the views at the top here were beautiful. Okay, so the temple on the hill, lovely, very nice. 20,000 to get in, and then you go up some stairs, and you're at the top. It's not too difficult, it takes about five minutes, and the views are lovely. Now, there's a working temple up here, and when you pick your head through the window or the door, you can see the beautiful images of the Buddha inside. And then there's a gorgeous golden chedi on the top, but I won't be able to fly my drone because just below us in the distance there, I don't know if you can see, that's the airport. So no drones allowed in this area. In fact, anywhere in downtown Luang Prabang. Gorgeous, you can see the bridge and you can see the Mekong on that side and then just the beautiful city of Luang Prabang. And in this afternoon light at three o'clock, it's glorious. I think it's probably better to come up here at sunset. Um, and it's, there's not much to do. Once you get here, there's a temple, a place to get a drink, and that's it. Just enjoy the views. Good place to come for half an hour. I want to show you guys my favorite thing to do <laughs> in Luang Prabang. And that is just kind of explore the streets on Zelda. I'm staying in this little guest house here and they all kind of look the same. They all have these beautiful mahogany style wooden houses and then the kids are outside playing. But let me just take you on a stroll. Nice jump. Yeah, one of my favorite things to do in the afternoon is just drive around, soak up the beautiful Luang Prabang UNESCO World Heritage Site in the afternoon light. I mean, there is no better way to enjoy it really, especially on Zelda. Let me show you some of my favorite little streets and nooks and crannies. So yeah, just keep an eye on the architecture. It's what makes Luang Prabang so special. 
is the French colonial and Lao Buddhist style architecture living in harmony. This, believe it or not, is a sports bar. Look how beautiful this is. And yes, they are showing the match tonight. And yes, I will be there after we've finished filming. That's a beautiful looking hotel. All the buildings are just gorgeous, aren't they? This whole town is just an Instagram waiting to happen. So cute. Hello. <laughs> oh, you gotta love Southeast Asia. This whole left-hand side, quite upmarket, quite expensive guest houses and hotels. And then everything on the right, restaurants, bars, cafes, shakes, places to get little coffees and things. And um, beautiful views to the Mekong. I mean, look at that building there. Isn't that stunning? With the blue and the cream. I love it. Another one over here. The planning permission in this town must be so strict, you know? They want to keep it a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So there's not going to be any 7-Elevens or any, any silliness. I mean, this whole town is just gorgeous everywhere you look. Little furniture shop. something else you know I'm wondering if where we had lunch or I should say brunch we'll have a seat T56 because they have a very good view wow look we can have our own little booth with that view. Yeah, a lazy drive around Luang Prabang in the afternoon sun is <laughs> just such a glorious thing to do. As you saw, the town, the town's beautiful, that the atmosphere here is so romantic, so peaceful, and I enjoyed the sunset, and that evening, actually, I got a ticket for the local ballet, the Lao Ballet at the theatre, very cheap, 100,000 for a ticket and it was really very interesting, very colourful, went on for an hour, I'd never seen anything like it before, that was nice and then I went down to the market and this is on every night of the week, lots to see, lots to sell, lots to buy, lots of hustle and bustle, the food market, wow this place is big, this place is busy, lots and lots of options beer and cider and cocktails and all sorts of delicious food great place to relax and that's kind of how I felt after that full day's adventure you know waking up at five doing the waterfall climbing a hill <laughs> Luang Prabang is so peaceful so quiet and a must must visit in not just a trip to Laos but a trip to Southeast Asia I hope you enjoyed this slice of experiencing Luang Prabang. In the next video we're heading further north to Nongkiao and as you can see it's going to be quite unbelievably even more spectacular. I hope you're enjoying this series of Lost in Lao. If you're new drop a like, subscribe to never miss an episode and I'll see you in the next one.